Hello friends, we're back again and we're continuing from where we left off. So in the previous tutorial, we had made a dummy up in which we had a list and this list had some categories. You remember, we also had the feature of saving a JSON file to external storage. So we ended there where we saved uh, a file to external storage and recorded damage with JSON. Yeah, so let me just quickly show you the file that we saved. I'm sure if you were following, you still have that. But if you don't have it, you can still compile this and save so that you can have that file. And that's where we'll continue from in this tutorial. So let me open a file manager and locate that file. We saved it in downloads, remember? So open your favorite file manager and locate the file. So there it is, dummy, the JSON. So let's just open it to see if the contents of our list map were actually saved in this document. So I'll open this with the note editor and there you can see the category key and its value. So we actually did successfully save this list to our external storage. So let's go back to Sketchware and we're going to learn how to read back this JSON file to our list map. So in this case, we won't have to add the keys in on create. Instead, we'll read it from our external storage. So we're going to learn how to read a JSON file from external storage. So follow me. Let's go back to our sketchware. So let's go to on create. In on create, you can see the logic that we earlier had for displaying our categories. So if we want to display from the external storage in short reading a json from external storage we are going to need to read it back into our list map so json to list map select your list map here put it there then here we're going to need to read the path so the file path we saved is downloads folder and the file name is dummy.json so you can get the path from here this is the button for saving remember so just save it if you don't want to repeat the logic just uh, call it anything then we're going to put it here So what is happening here is we are reading the file path downloads slash dummy to JSON to our list map. So with this simple logic, we are able to read the contents of a JSON file back into our sketchware projects and show it in our recycler from a list map. The same way you can use this logic to read back a text file, any text file. So let's run this and see if our categories actually appear in our list map. Okay, now we can install the app. Click on install. Just wait for it to finish installing, then we open it. Here we need to allow it to read files from our external storage for us to have access to the file remember it's on external storage so you need to allow the permission there we go so our list has been read from our external storage and has been shown in the recycler view like that so you can play around with this logic and achieve what you want an example of the logic where i use this is in sketch so i load my categories from external storage and show them to the user. 